All right guys, so today we're gonna to talk about the Holosun 503CU. Um, I specifically chose this optic because of the solar features and the 65 MOA reticle. Uh, that's very similar to the EOTech. So it gives me a nice familiar Aimpoint T1 package with the EOTech reticle. Um, pretty cool, especially because I use a magnifier pretty often. Um, this optic retails, I think you can get it on Amazon now for about $200. Um, you can probably find them around the internet for around 150, which is really not that bad. Uh, but keep the price in mind with the features that you're looking for and how many other optics are on the market. Uh, so you get a little lens cloth. For some reason, the product manual comes in plastic, uh, whatever. Uh, it has some nice uh, information in there and then a frequently asked questions guide, which is super nice for um, just figuring out things on the fly if you don't want to dive into the manual. Uh, now we're going to get into the optic itself. So it comes with an absolute uh, co-witness mount and a lower one-third co-witness mount. Uh, I prefer the, the lower one-third just for my applications. It also comes with an extra battery tray in case you break that one and a little tool in there that honestly, uh, it's really nice that they included it, but I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Um, so then these little bikini caps, again, something that gets lost the first time that you go to the range. Uh, and then we have the optic itself. So you see that reticle and how large that circle is. So on the camera, unfortunately, I can't get you the exact image of what the reticle looks like, um, but this is relatively close. I'm gonna end up setting it up on a gun and let you guys look through a magnifier and see the reticle nice and clear. So again, you've got a two MOA dot in the center and then a 65 MOA ring on the outside. It's hashed just like the EOTech reticle. That 65 MOA circle helps me range real quickly. If you fill the center ring with a man-sized target, uh, which would be around five, six, um, you're gonna be at 100 yards. If you split that in half and just put them in the bottom of the circle, uh, it's gonna be 200 yards. Half of that's 300 yards and then a quarter of that is 400 yards. Um, I don't know that I would ever use this reticle at 400 yards or intend to, uh, but hey, if I was in that situation, I mean, I could do it. I have the information on the fly to be able to do it. So the other cool feature about this is the solar feature. So if I bring this optic out and I actually hold this button down for one, two, three seconds, I'm actually gonna get it to shift into uh, the solar mode. Now I'm inside and my hand's over the solar feature so you can't really see the optic. There we go. Um, so here's the difference between that. So this is just running on solar. And then if I go one, two, three. Yep, that is on battery power now. So I've got 12 modes to include uh, two night vision modes of brightness that I can shift through. If you're shooting outdoors, like in the desert, like we do, um, you can stay on solar all day long and you'll be totally fine. But if you're shooting in more dimly lit environment, uh, say you're, you're overcast or whatever, you may wanna shift into those manual modes. Um, if you're in a house or something with, maybe you're looking outside at some point into a tra transitionary environment, I would maybe want to go out of the auto mode and go into manual. Um, but, you know, that's for you to decide. All of those options exist for you. If I hold down this button right here, the minus button, and you guys will see I can actually shift which reticle I'm using and only go to the dot. So if you guys are, are dedicated to the T1 dot or you know, you're tired of using the 65 MOA circle or you're transitioning to a different type of environment, um, this is a great option for you, right? You're able to cycle between the two. So then I'll hit that minus button again, one, two, three, and then shift back to the 65 MOA circle. So it's a pretty cool deal that you can switch between the two reticles. All right, so another nice feature that we have here is we're able to actually choose how the optic goes to sleep. Um, there's a 10 minute, one hour, and 12 hour option. So if I hold this plus button down here for 10 seconds, there it goes, it blinks. So if you see here, I've got that one blink is 10 minutes, two blinks is 
um, an hour, and then three blinks is 12 hours. And all I'm doing is pressing the plus button. So I wanna go back down to 10 minutes. One. There we go, we got our one click. And then I wanna hit this, the plus button, in order to get it to come back. So that's all you gotta do in order to set up your sleep mode. All right, so that's a pretty quick overview of the Holosun 503CU. Um, it's a pretty nice optic, especially for what you're getting. I really like the reticle in there. Um, now, there's many other optics on the market. There's many other companies making the almost the exact same thing. And that is because Holosun does the majority of the manufacturing for the cheaper lines of optics here in the US. Um, they are manufactured out of China, so that's something that you need to understand. Uh, if you are an American made only type of person, uh, you need to be completely aware that yes, this product is indeed made in China. So I wanna be really upfront about that, okay? Um, companies like Sig Sauer, um, Primary Arms, they make products um, from Holosun as well. Um, I know that uh, the Sig Romeo 5 XDR actually has this same feature in it. Uh, Primary Arms makes an ACSS reticle version of this, which is, I believe, superior uh, to this product at this point. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of an overview on this. Uh, I have taken it to the range. I really do like it. It helps me pick up targets a lot faster at 200, 100, even 50 yards because that 65 mm away circle just sucks your eye in. Um, there's a reason why EOTech has used it for so long. It is a very effective reticle. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate you taking a look at the 503CU with us. Um, as always, like and subscribe and let us know what you wanna see next. Thanks.